Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman. I'd like to welcome you back this week. We've been spending a lot of time talking about the adrenal glands. Fatigue, the function, dysfunction of the adrenal glands, how to heal and cure them. Uh, let's take a journey this week. Let's talk about the thyroid gland. Let's talk about the nine best foods to eat as well as the nine foods to avoid on the Hashimoto's thyroiditis diet. Now, the thyroid, small gland that sits at the base of the neck, we refer to it as the master gland of all things metabolic for the body. So if there's any dysfunction with any metabolic process of the body, it could be the thyroid gland. As a rule, females are affected more than males. Some of the things that you might notice if your thyroid gland isn't working well. You might have weight gain. You might have fatigue, brain fog, constipation, cold intolerance. Those are the types of things that you would notice if the thyroid gland isn't working well, and there could be many others as well. Now, Hashimoto's disease is the most common cause of thyroid dysfunction. It's an autoimmune process where actually the thyroid gland is working against itself. There are various ways to treat it. One of the most important approaches, though, is diet. So let's talk about the foods that you should and should not eat. Folks, remember to join me next week when we talk about issues that affect you, your health, and your well-being. Let's talk about these foods. First and foremost, let me tell you the foods that you should avoid. Soy, gluten, sugar, absolutely we want to cut those out of your diet, as well as processed foods, alcohol, and caffeine. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, well, that's a big part of my diet. Well, hold on a minute, we're not done yet. Let's talk about the things that you can have. How about all the veggies and fruits you want? There's all your micronutrients, your fiber, they're filling, they're healthy for you. Seaweed, iodine is very important to thyroid function. It plays a major role in the thyroid hormones. Seaweed is a good way to get some iodine. How about eggs, lentils, Brazil nuts, lean meats. Now, there you go. I always like to say the cup is half full instead of half empty. That's just the beginning there. Now, in our blog, we go into much more detail about these foods and so forth. So, first of all, I wanna challenge you. Take a look at that before you make any quick decisions and worry about what you can and can't have because that's gonna give you some ideas and some detail on all the good, healthy foods you can have and I promise you this, when you change your diet, you're going to change your health. Folks, thanks for joining us this week. I look forward to seeing you next week when we continue to discuss a variety of topics that affect your health. Now, take a look at our blog post, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Folks, remember, our motto is that when you change your health, you'll change your life. And our goal is to add years to your life and life to your years. Have a great day.